you know, if, if these people don't think PetSafe is seriously lawyered up and has all kind of studies, you're wrong. So anyway, this 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 video is titled Eileen and Dogs and what what this or is completely different when you is a serious professional trainer explaining to Eileen before you assume she's what's wrong you up, with her videos. Yeah, boring hallway with a man at the end does not use a raised platform. This right here is a very grievous error in dog training. Very poorly defined boundary. The behavior, go to Matt. Okay, so go to Matt. And, and again, it's feet are not on it. Very poorly close. defined boundary. From the mat in 12 inch steps. All right, why don't you get a manners minder, Eileen? Okay, uses okay as a release command. Any serious pro, that's, that's, I've actually got a video about that. Get on your mat, no hand signal to send it. I get a little speed going here, Eileen. Okay as a release command. Honestly, that's unbelievable. How much of a novice are you if you use okay as a release command? I don't even think I've ever even watched this woman's videos. Come on. 14 feet. Paying attention, I don't say that. Oh, I see. She's going foot by foot by foot. All right, now it freezes. That's not freezing, lady. Right? She's got bored. We just saw two eager dogs fail at a cue they've responded to hundreds of no, times. No, Eileen, it's you failing as a handler. That's method failure. How many subscribers does this woman have? 3,000. Well, I have 10,000, so, you know, my, my question to you, Eileen, is one, I, I'm going to tell you one thing. First, go get a video with a pit bull. You're so worried about that pit bull in my video. I'm going to point out a couple of things to you about that dog. The dog still eats. So don't try to say a dog doesn't eat, the dog doesn't eat. That right there ought to be, if anything, from the behavior's viewpoint, fascinating. Because that, that is probably the most fascinating part about that video. You cannot train dogs in predatory drive without having them in food drive. I mean, you just can't. And you know, what this woman needs to understand is there's a reason you don't have a life with dogs and you haven't been... Uh, you know, you're not paid to train dogs. My advice is get a little raised platform. Imagine. You can do them. I mean, she desperately needs a makeover too. Imagine if you didn't have to growl and, at your and dog. do. Nobody growls at their dog. I leave. Nobody thinks it's anything like a wolf. Well, I'd like to see her try this with a melon. You never see these people. This is just for you guys at home. You shush him out of there. If you could talk to him, I'm shush that bulldog went in there. She would immediately respond. Well, oh, he's just stretching, terrorizing these German shirts. In fact, yeah, that's a good idea, I mean, Give him a, uh, go get a deaf dog. I would like to see you with a dog out in public. I'd like to see you update your blog because I actually, I've got all kinds of videos of deaf dogs and playing, oh my god, unbelievable. She's not only playing tug of war with the dog, she's smacking it in the chin as it growls at her. That is laughable. It's painful. If this is what she's teaching, and you see, oh, I'm going to grab that phone real quick. Do you see how painful, uh, the, that's why you don't use a mat though. This is a good example. Shake a can. Why well, you don't use a mat though, because it's such a poorly defined boundary. Your feet don't even go in there. Hello? Yes. Yes, good girl. Dick, oh hey, how are you doing? Good girl. Imagine if you didn't have to believe all that stuff about having to act like a Oh, I mean, oh, I'll be thrilled to get her in here. She's my star, you know that.
Ay, ay, ay. All right, but she's not barking. She just talks now. Well, there you go. There you go. If it's that good, hey, you know what I mean? Okay. All right, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, Dick. I'm flexible. I'll be super excited to uh, have her in here. But, but Dick, text me on my other cell phone, though. I, sometimes the cell phone or this landline hasn't been working reliably. But, yeah, just text me. I will have her in here, and we'll do more and more videos of her. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye. Well, that's the Woodberries. In fact, remind me to get a, uh, with their giant schnauzer. Why don't you go get a video with the giant schnauzer, Eileen? Because all I see here is dogs of no substance. And I will tell you guys, you can recognize serious pro trainers by the caliber of dogs they're, they're afforded in their career. You are judged as a dog trainer uh, in, the, in the professional world by the caliber of dogs your career affords you. And I've got the gamut. If you said you don't have any rare breeds, I've got a Welsh Terrier that works off leash. I'm gonna go post this video. That's a giant schnauzer. And yeah, you wait and see, Eileen. This thing is flashy, flashy, flashy. And and if you if anybody says those things are easy to train, they're not. Do you remember that dog summer? They were here before the Woodberries. Yeah, they send us Christmas cards, everything. They couldn't control me. They're in their 70s. They travel. They live in a motorhome. They have a giant schnauzer. They clicked until they couldn't click anymore. And all they've got is a happy dog that has, you don't even know any vernacular, Eileen, of, you know, levels of disinhibition. Show me a video of you with a group of dogs that are acting like dogs and feeling joy. Not some dog standing in a hallway saying, what does this woman want now? With her boring treats, those dogs are not even in drive. Stop harassing me. Go get my most three recent videos and put them on your blog. Get them going, Eileen. Keep Continue to form your cyber lynch mob. Instead of your little imagine, put your imagine plan in action, Eileen. What are you waiting for? Go get a purebred dog and win the National Open, an obedience trial championship, anything, to prove that you're not an amateur, that, because that's what amateur trainers do. Amateur, there's something called the National Amateur. The National Amateur, and that's for amateur trainers. Go win that, Eileen. And then give people advice. Your advice does not work in the real world. That's why the clicker training has been around since the 90s. There's been no serious advancement. Greg is trying to invent some collar. I've got to tell Summer, Greg called me this morning at like 7 o'clock. And he wants to do a thing where he, because I'm trying to help him make this wall fall. And then he was saying these things were getting on my nerves. Uh, something about this Karen Pryor, he's going to make it something. Where you put a clicker in the collar and then somehow like some like you know button thing just mechanically because i told him it needs to make the sound of a clicker if you could make a sound of a clicker on a collar so he thinks that this is just beyond the realm of technology in the 80s they could make the six million dollar man but this dude can't make a sound effect of a clicker on a collar um so after we hung up, I thought about it, and I said, well, if he can't do it, what we could do is make a video showing, if we could figure out how to get the tone on that collar, how quickly you could associate a click and a tone on the collar with the dog. Right. And after he hung up, he thought about what we said, and he decided to invent a collar that, according to him, looks just like the Karen Flyer clicker. I don't know if she has some special clicker or something. And then you click it, and then it manually clicks this 
the clicker that's inside the box of the collar. Hmm. And I was just, you know, at least Greg innovates. At least yeah. Greg innovates. Hola. Oh, Dick, yes, uh-huh. Okay, okay. Okay, so I'm going to write this down. Misha's getting dropped on the 17th. Yeah, okay. No, we wrote it down. We wrote it down. I will plan to see you. Okay, okay Dick, I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Dick is like, he, he, they do watch the show. They can never hear me though, but he's, you'll see when you guys meet him. He is a no-nonsense. Oh, he's like a grumpy old man. He's like a grumpy old man. I love them, and these people love me. And you want to take that away from people, Eileen. You think you can help these people more than I do, or that I, you've helped more people than me. That's what burns me up. You know, but please feel free. But my advice, the pit bull is dead. The pit bull did live its life out with, they were able to rescue and care for other dogs. So I did my job. The German Shepherd in the video that was out of the solid black police dog is dead. She died of old age. She died of cancer. Like both of the parents, they all died of cancer. Um, I don't know what other videos there are, but um, I'm going to go on there and change the titles to what I believe you are, which is a cyber bully. If you, Eileen, are so against electronic callers, you need to get with your friend Marianne, the TV producer, and put a stop to it, because what you're doing, your plan of driving people to my page isn't working, Eileen. It is not working. I've got more subscribers. I've got three times more subscribers than you do. How is that possible? It's possible because I'm a serious professional trainer, you know, that's developed a methodology using a phone pager. Something that your small, uneducated mind, and I don't know what you did for a living. You look like you're an accountant or something. And please don't try to tell me you have a master's degree in behavioral science because you don't or that you've ever had a video show me a video with a champion sire dog of any breed labradors are the most popular breed for 25 years and you don't have a single video training a labrador and you're going to say i don't know what i'm doing i'm a serious pro you know a lot of i you know i'm changing the world eileen what you're doing is treading water. You have plateaued. If you don't believe the future of dog training is electronic, at least get a manners minder. If you're going to tell me you can't even use a manners minder to get a dog running down a hallway, and please get rid of the mat. Dogs don't understand a mat. Rugs are everywhere. Dogs understand a raised platform. People with masters degrees in behavioral science determine that how many years ago summer 26 26 years ago that was carved in stone Eileen and you don't know and using okay for a release command it, it is common common knowledge do not use a word that comes up chronically in conversation it's painful. I mean, we could do a makeover on you. I mean, start working out a little bit. I mean, don't overdo it. Some rubber bands, we could keep jeans or something. You know, if you're really going to ma imagine this future, what you're doing isn't it. Get a manners minder. Show people how to use one of those. That woman killed herself. She was at least a serious pro. I think she killed herself because she couldn't make any headway. It becomes an exercise in futility, trying to train large, aggressive dogs. Um, 36 people died at the hands of a dog last year, at the jaws of a dog, maybe more, 84% of them were pit bulls. So what you're doing with these little, ha I can only call them half-spirited mutts, does not apply. That Kiko pup is worse than you. She's got that goddamn 
sight hound that's in a coma. That's not how these dogs act. These people that want to do right, go get these rescue dogs. These things are bouncing off the walls. They are getting out the door. If what you're doing is so good, I mean, why can your average American not do an off-leash recall? Show me an off-leash recall better than mine. Go find that puppy video, Nilla. I'm getting ready to upload that one. That, that puppy's recall can best be described as a bullet. And, and, and you're kind, because I know from your little chat board, oh, it's too fast. We like a puppy that goes slow. I honestly had never heard that there was such a thing as do animated, or that these people would search YouTube high and low to find a video of a deaf dog doing a recall when I have dozens upon dozens upon dozens of them. A deaf pit bull doing a recall without a pager collar, even though the Deaf Dog Association recommends you get one. You can't even innovate that, Eileen. You're so small-minded, you can't even say, I'll put a phone pager on a dog. No, so locked into a small-minded ideology. You're a bully, Eileen, dressed up as a frumpy little old lady under the guise of a frumpy, kind-hearted little old lady. Update your blog, Eileen. Go get my first five videos and put on there and explain them and explain why my body language and everything I'm doing and my timing and everything and post a similar video of local rescues bringing you dogs to train and rehab and going on to successful homes and people in couples in their 70s with large dogs that are their children that they can't control that they love and that they have had to face reality that if something doesn't change, something bad is going to happen. And if you don't think something bad happens with dogs all the time, please. Almost every day I'm just shitty. At least on one court show. Either on, I don't know, we have that other one on, like when we're cleaning. What's the, uh, the people's court or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't think there's dog attacks where these people... And that's what I told that girl, Tony. She's the animal control girl. She's one of my fans. She knows when these pit bulls attack, I'm not even going to... I ought to put that on your page, Eileen. You want to be scared straight? I'll put that Brazilian video of those pit bulls ripping a little dog that looks just like your dog's leg off. The leg is gone. Oh, I wouldn't even let Summer look at it. But, you know, that's reality. I don't want that to be reality, you know. And for you to try to imply in any way that you are a more gifted trainer than me is laughable. I have been able to spend my whole life being paid to train dogs. To be, to be paid. And to have a client list that reads like a who's who. Full of amazing people that you're going to try to, you know, claim you're smarter than. You know, that they're paying me to abuse their dog when you're sitting at home with three little half spirited mutts that you couldn't even take to a dog park that you show me a video of these dogs running in joy not in a backyard with a privacy fence with your little garden go get a go down to the pound and get a pit bull because if you said show me how this collar works I would say give me any dog Give me any dog, you know. If you think that you would come here and you could get any of my big shepherds out and show me how to train them, <laughs> please. And that is the sec third most popular breed of dog in America. And if you say don't, you don't know anything about shepherds, I can talk shop. I can talk shop with the German. Oh, I can talk shop with the German. I've got the son of a VA dog. DM negative. DM negative. And Labradors have been the number one breed for 25 years. Show me one. Who are you helping, Eileen, if you don't have a video of a Labrador? 25 years, the most popular breed. The breed responsible for the most fatal attacks, pit bulls. I've got videos of pit bulls and Labradors galore. And yeah, I've had a couple that could not be trained. 
There are such dogs. It's it's terrifying. It is terrifying. Anyway, that's that's my advice to you, Elliot. I've had it with your bullying, your little schneid. Oh, oh, why do you think the uh, audio's removed? Want to bet the dog's vocalizing? Well, you know what? YouTube gave me the ability to restore the audio, so show me where the, uh, the dog is vocalizing, Eileen. Stop being cunty on your little blog and saying, bet it's, who cares if a dog aggressive pit bull is vocalizing? Because I'm going to tell you who's vocalizing. You want to see pit bulls vocalizing? I'll show you that dog getting rid. I'll go on live leak. These dogs scream like banshees. And these children. They scream like banshees when they're being ripped apart. There was a video of these pit bulls disemboweling a kid. They show a seasoned cop. They don't show the video. They show this cop's look. Get real, Eileen. Go update your blog. The dogs on there are dead. If you believe dog training is static, if you think I haven't gotten better, I haven't refined this tool in the eight years since you put that, you're dead wrong. You're dead wrong. If you do not believe I've mastered this tool, that is laughable, Eileen. Laughable. If you think people with deaf dogs are not picking up pagers, we're contacted, aren't we, Summer? How many times were we contacted last week about deaf dogs? Nine times. From all over the world. The one people lived in Macedonia. They had a deaf bulldog. A deaf American bulldog. How does a deaf American bulldog get to Macedonia? The only reason I even know where that place is, it's the only country that doesn't have an extradition treaty. Maybe that's how I got there. Think about it, Eileen. Think about it. So please feel free to make a retraction. And feel free to start a petition to shut down Garmin. If your imagination is that small, Eileen, that you can't imagine any more than what you're doing, what you're doing is ineffective. Your plan to shut down the e-collar industry is, what is it, Summer? <laughs> but then you go like this, then you go, then you like put an exclamation point and then you go. So I, I really honestly don't mind your blog because, you know, all I get is the occasional inflamed lunatic and I'm getting good at dispatching them keep them coming Eileen because if you don't think that you know what I'm doing is on the cutting edge clicker trainers have reached their ceiling there's nothing else you can do these dogs are getting more aggressive people are putting them in more situations and if you honestly feel if you're that uneducated that what we're doing is intimidating the dog with pain and getting it to do complex tasks you know that's not what it is. You're just so locked into your little thing now that you don't have balls enough. You don't have any balls, Eileen. I know women like you. I know women like you. You work in libraries. You're accountants. You're not what Hank William talked about in the 70s, outlaw women. And I hope you've listened to that song, Summer, because that was the first time that women came out and said, you're not going to bully me anymore. You're not going to do it. I will trailblaze. Get out of my way. So that's what it is, Eileen. Lead, follow, or get out of the way. So this video is basically to inform you, get out of the way. Get a manners minder. Get anything. Go get a pager only collar. Are you that small minded that you say, if you give me a collar that vibrates like a phone pager I can't help any dog then you are worse of a trainer than I thought there's a reason you've never gone pro you're no good you have a very cursory knowledge of dog training please feel free to update your blog and the title of this is Eileen and dogs cyber bully because I've had it with you go after Nick 
This guy's franchising that garbage. Oh, you don't have balls enough, though, Eileen. You're intimidated by a man that was in the army. I'll go after him. I made a whole video stating why he's the worst trainer on YouTube, and I'm pro e collar. He's franchising that garbage, Eileen. Get some balls, Eileen. Get some balls. The world doesn't need mousy little women like you who pick on small business owners. If you were any sort of woman, you would get out there, fix yourself up a little bit, and make yourself presentable to the public, and get dogs that aren't, haven't been being trained in a hallway for three years. <laughs> get a giant schnauzer, get a Labrador, get a George whatever. What's the second most popular breed? Golden Retriever. See, this girl keeps detailed notes. It's frightening. How many times has How many times has Eileen bullied us in the last year? Where was that? It was on the last page. Fifty-six bullies I've had to deal with because of you, Eileen. Because of a pit bull that isn't vocalizing. Point out at what point in the video the dog is eating food throughout. I am keeping it. That actually ended up being my insurance girl's daughter. I didn't realize that until recently. That German Shepherd. And ask Dr. Cox. Call Dr. Cox in East Smyrna Beach. That dog has aggression issues. That's the dog that you're worried about, Aline. First off, the dog was eight years old in that video. That video is eight years old. The dog has been dead for like five years. I said, when it died, thank God. They posted on Facebook, Sad Sadie. I said, thank God. I can breathe easier now. Yeah. But you're a bully, Eileen. You are a bully. Nobody believes you growl like a wolf at a dog. The Europeans have developed some really fancy ways of doing obedience that they've actually even adapted in AKC. AKC obedience now looks like shits and obedience. I see one half-ass healing video of yours inside with a leash. Oh, please. Inside with a leash. And you're going to come at me. I can crank out off-leash videos in public all day long with dogs that I haven't been trained. So, this video is like <laughs> This is called Open Letter to Eileen Anderson, I've had it with, if, if summer statistics are correct, 56 bullies I've had to deal with. I'm not sure whether that's since oh, you started. The week isn't over yet. Well, the week isn't over yet. Yeah. Uh, because of you. Meanwhile, uh, you're just strengthening my resolve. If you think what I'm saying is I'm going to put down this electronic collar when my phone is ringing off the hook. People, oh, oh, this, well, we're finna make this giant schnauzer. Um, oh, a star on Facebook, because I didn't do the, I didn't do the Facebook videos when the schnauzer was here before. It's very flashy. Big, good-looking dogs, big, good-looking dogs. It hasn't been here for about a year and a half, but you wait and see. Big, good-looking, flashy, champion sire dog. You know, and I don't defend the e-collar. I, what I do is attack you as a bully is what I do, because you need to face the fact, you need to look in the mirror and say, you know, maybe I don't know that much about dogs based on my experience. And that, that my limited experience holds me to claim I'm better than people that do this for a living, whose client, I've got three kind of clients, I lean doctors, lawyers, and builders. And you can find them right there on my Facebook page. These are educated, intelligent people. But you claim that they're paying me to abuse their dog. That's an insult. So I've had it with your bullying. And then I look at you and I'm, you know, women like this are not what the world needs. We need women that can, because I'll tell you who I train dogs for, women. We need women who can empower other women and help them train dogs. 
I, I want to see you develop a method to train dogs, Eileen. That's what you ought to be doing. Develop a method to train deaf dogs better than mine, real quick, like. Let me see it, Eileen. The shelters are full of deaf dogs. We'll find out. In fact, write down. Find out what town Eileen lives in. We'll go find a deaf dog in a shelter there and refer it to Eileen. And you tell me. You know, no, and I'm not even going to say, I mean, I, I don't, I hate women like that because they're weak. They're not, yeah, I mean, this chick is straight out in 1970s. If they did a movie about her, I'll tell you who'd play her, the mother from uh, that 70s show. And you probably drank too. I shouldn't say that, that's me. <laughs> Remember, right, Summer said, Summer's message, don't have cunty. Anyway, that's that's it. You're bullying me. Go update your blog. There's videos of very young puppies with pagers on. I would think that's what you would want to expose. They're the biggest uh, rescue in the Northwest, Heinz 57, drove a deaf dog here. Post that. Edward is the dog's name. Post that, I mean. Show. Expose. This. Who cares about a dead pit bull? A pit bull that died five years ago that was so dog aggressive. I'm gonna go get that video and slow down the part where I'm able to control it from lunging at this German Shepherd. And basically, once those things latch on, well, some have seen it. Grown men punch them, kick them, stab them, hit them over the head with sticks, ax handles, uh, cinder blocks, and nothing stops them. So that, you're, that you have that much empathy for a pit bull, Eileen, is laughable. Yeah, yeah, I seem better but I'm not. I seem better but I'm not. And I, I'm not, I'm not defending, I'm an actress. Uh, and my character is very enraged by your behavior. The, the real Kelly is practically indifferent, but, you know, she's just numb because of your ridiculousness. But, um, you know, that's what you have to say to yourself. You're not Amazon got them to stop selling the Confederate flag in one day. I signed the petition. I signed the petition to get Amazon to stop selling the Confederate flag. And yeah, there was that same little faction of society, like your faction, crazed ideologists, who force it on everybody else. But they were overrun by the masses, which is clearly the case with the electronic collar. How could Amazon be selling these things? In fact, write that down. Contact Amazon. Find out how many of these they sell a day. Thousands, I mean. Tens of thousands. So what you're doing isn't working. Your information is completely wrong. Go read every book that there is on e-callers and come back and see me. <laughs> And when they put me in a uh, mental institution like that movie Gothica, <laughs> this is my Halle Berry hair for the day. Anyway, that's, you know, and I just, I don't, I tell young dog trainers, don't, you know, the, the fact that you only, that I have three times more subscribers than you, that right there speaks volumes, but, you know, you can sit there, talk is cheap, Eileen, you can write these articles all day long, your videos are gruesomely painful to watch. These dogs are not ex in drive. They're not experienced in joy. They're not animated. You're using a mat as a place. You're using okay as a release command. I mean, you know, look it up. Tell me what books you've read other than we should listen to Eileen. I'm an amateur. You don't have to tell us that. And I bet you're using their dog food for treats. Kick these animals into drive. Take them out. Let them experience joy. Let them be a dog. Not in a hallway for three years. If you think a dog wants that and then tug or the thing's growling at you, are you kidding me, Eileen? What you're saying to that dog is aggression towards me is not only acceptable, it's desirable. Nothing you say can convince me you have any tight obedience on that dog, that you could take that dog in public and that dog would even look at you. Prove me wrong, Eileen. Get the little dog that was growling at the tug of war and take it out in public and put on a demo. 
and pick any of these dogs on my videos and I'll do the same. Anyway, see ya. Do you like that? Mm-hmm. She's a bully. What do you say? I mean, she's a bully. Called her out. Summer thinks it's just still rolling by accident. <laughs> she doesn't catch my... <laughs> That's about a bully. Eileen Anderson. Of course, my Yeah, and just, you know, lead follower, get out of the way. Just get out of the way, Eileen.